Whoa, oh, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps, and today I want to talk about a docu-series that dropped earlier this year. It's called QB1 Beyond the Lights. Now, a couple of people have been telling me to check this out. Um, I hadn't heard a whole bunch about it, but I did go ahead and watch it. And I basically just wanted to kind of give y'all my impressions and my thoughts on it. Maybe compare it to Last Chance You a little bit because that's the thing that is most easily comparable to from this channel standpoint. Now, the uh, the docuseries is created by the same guy who made Friday Night Lights. Not the movie, but the show. And a lot of y'all will be familiar with that. QB1 Beyond the Lights, just like Friday Night Lights, covers high school football players and just some of the, uh, I guess really the drama that kind of surrounds them. The docuseries covers three quarterbacks, of course, from different teams. Got Tavon Bowers, Jake Fromm, and the guy everybody loves to hate, Tate Martell. We're gonna talk about Tate in a minute. Now, each of these guys brings their own unique thing to the table. All of their personalities are slightly different, so I think they did a pretty good job of choosing a varied selection of quarterbacks. One early thing about the series that I wasn't crazy about is the fact that it's three quarterbacks from three different teams, and so we're trying to get all of their backstories and it's jumping. You know what I mean? So it can be a little bit difficult to follow from that standpoint. But as the series goes on, you do get more into it and you learn more about each guy. Now, I should say real quick, um, I've only seen four episodes and I think that's all that's available currently. It did say new episodes dropping on Wednesday. So it's 8.50 right now and I've been working all morning so I haven't had a chance to check but there may actually be a new episode up right now. If it's not up right now, it may be up a little bit later. So this is really right on time. If you dig this, you can go ahead and jump on. You can catch the first four and the fifth. Also, before I continue, if y'all end up liking this, man, I may do more videos on it. I might do some spotlight videos on the players if y'all wanna see that. We'll see how this video does and we'll go from there. One of the cool things about this series is there's gotta be one of these guys that you like. You know what I'm saying? Tavon is real laid back, almost nonchalant. It could be a little bit off-putting from coming from a quarterback position, but you do see when the game star, he does really kind of step up, he becomes a lot more vocal. And I was impressed by that. Jake Fromm, to me, was the most solid of all of them. This dude says the right stuff, and he seems to generally, you know, mean the shit that he's saying. I mean, he was coaching like a female flag football game, you know what I mean? He's real competitive, but at the same time, he's even. You know, I felt like Tavon could be a little low, and this next guy we're about to talk about, he could kind of be up here. Tate Martell, this dude does the most, okay? Just straight out, he do the fucking <laughs> But he is easily the most entertaining of the bunch. He talked a ton of shit. Some of his antics in the show, I found fucking hilarious. I did read like some reviews, and like other people, they hate this guy. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all that have seen it also hate the guy. I look at it a little bit different. I'm looking at this shit for entertainment value. So guess what, Tate? Appreciate it. You, you made this shit kind of worth watching. So while the series overall is interesting and I think it's a pretty good series, my main issue is the football, man. Like, I want more football. You know what I mean? It's 30 minute episodes. And I'm getting like five minutes of football, baby. What's up? The drama and all that's cool, you know, building up to it. But when you build up to the game, the game, in my opinion, should actually be the climax. And I just felt like the people who were editing it, there's so much drama that happens in a football game. Every football, damn near every football game, there's real drama. But it felt like they were trying to make up shit. Like, you know what I mean? They was giving me these funky ass camera angles. I can't see. You know what I mean? There was one point where Jake Fromm throws a pick and I don't even, I can't even see what he did wrong because the camera is behind the fucking ref shooting up. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I can't see. I'm like, okay, well, cool. You want to run it like that? Give me another angle on the replay. Oh, wait, no replay. Also, I felt like in a lot of the games, they would drum up this suspense. They got the music going, but there's no payoff, man. It paid off like once or twice. There was an actual payoff, but the other ones, it was just never a payoff. They just kept stringing me on and on and on, fucking on and on. But <laughs> with all that being said, I am gonna be watching the rest of the episode. So I have to say that it's interesting enough to the point where I've watched four, there's supposed to be 10 total. I'm gonna be watching the final six. Should you watch it? 
Well, if you like the show Friday Night Lights, from what I'm told, you'll love this. I've never seen the show Friday Night Lights. If you like Last Chance You, which I know most of y'all do, you might like this, okay? It's not as gritty and rough to me as you like it because you're dealing with high school kids that are leveled down from the junior college guys who are considered a little bit more adult. I mean, this cursing and shit. I mean, Tate Martell cursed his mom out, I think. I mean, he didn't curse her out, but like he cursed, like they have conversations where he uses profanity while speaking to his mom. It's kind of weird, but hey, that's that thing. Hey, no judging. Now, I believe all of these guys already have scholarship offers to big programs you're talking georgia you're talking um ohio state you know a1 program so so these dudes are top prospects some of y'all might have heard of these dudes before this docuseries anyway i don't really follow high school football like that so i i didn't it was the first i knew i heard of them. but looking at their abilities how far do i think they can ascend in the college ranks well, if y'all dig this video, I'll probably do another one and I'll talk about that. Um, Each individual guy, probably talk about them and do the spotlight video all in all in one nice, you know what I mean? One nice, well done, 12 minute video cut up. Boom, y'all know how to do it. Some nice NCAA gameplay. But let me know in the comment section if y'all want that. If y'all dug this video and let me know, have you seen QB1 Beyond the Lights? If you did, what'd you think of it? If you haven't, are you gonna check it out? It's free, you go to go90.com. As a matter of fact, the link's in the description. You can click that and it'll take you to the site. It's free, you can go and check it out. I'm not being sponsored by these guys or anything like that. I'm just, you know, I follow this type of shit, so here we go, but other than that, don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. Also, hit me up in the comments section. My name is Flumlo Rasmus. I'll let y'all next time, man. Eh?